Radio1045.com live with the Pixies in the Liberation Way Performance Studio here in Philadelphia for a show this evening at the Electric Factory. Uh, I saw an interview recently. You were talking with my friend Wendy, our friend Wendy, down in Atlanta at Shaky Knees. And you brought up the book Dylanologists um, about super fans and the crazy things they collect. That's Dylan memorabilia. Yeah. It's called, I think it's called The Dylanologists. The Dylanologists. Um, when it comes to collecting, because there are fans of the Pixies that are that rabid, have you heard of or do you know of anything that's the coolest, craziest, weirdest, strangest collectible? Has that ever come, come on your radar? Something that somebody paid $10 million for? No, I haven't heard anything going for sale for $10 million. I was exaggerating a smidge. But, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Seen a lot of crazy tattoos. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tattoos mostly. Yeah. T ten dollar tattoos. <laughs> Not ten million. Do you collect anything? Do I collect anything? Um, Old typewriters. Uh, no, I don't think I, I don't, I don't think I collect anything. I'm trying to think of, uh, there's something I collect. I don't think there's anything I I don't think I collect anything. I don't know. Do you collect anything? Cos probably, probably collects something. Um. What do you collect? <laughs> do you collect anything? Well, I actually do collect something, but it's boring. What, you know, I, what I collect, is it? I, I, I collect tapes, certain tapes. Cassette that, tapes. Uh, yeah, cassette tapes, mixed cassette tapes. From a certain uh, radio, uh, a record label. Um, well, it's uh, Mississippi Records. They make these cassette tapes, mixed cassette tapes. I really like them. That's cool. Do yeah. you have a cassette tape player? Of course I do. So I can listen to my tapes that I collect. <laughs> <laughs> it would be really weird if I collected them and did not listen to them. At some point in the last year, I read an article that, I'm going to get it wrong, that... 40% of vinyl collectors don't have a turntable, don't have a record player. So 40% of people are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the preservists, too. That, you know, you have to appreciate the people who will save something for you for the later generation that, you know, if they had a record player, then they, they might get destroyed. So there's some logic to collecting something that, you know, you don't use. Do you have a large collection of pencils to, to when the <laughs> cassettes get to do the fix it? Yeah, only in the green room, you know. <laughs> Backstage, make sure before I go on stage, sharpen all my pencils. <laughs> Some people knit to pass time. You sharpen all your pencils for your cassette collection. Um, th there's a 30th anniversary coming of Surfer Rosa. Next. Get out of town. No, sir. <laughs> 30 year. years. Don't believe. Really? Like this is the first time you've heard that. OMG. <laughs> 30 years. That's thinking about crazy. Any, anything you're thinking about to celebrate? What's that now? Thinking about celebrating in some way, shape, form, reissue, tour, memorabilia that people can pay $10 million for? Well, not to be a control freak, but if we have some kind of a thing going on, I like carrot cake a lot. It's sort of <laughs> so can we, you know, if we could have a carrot cake. Uh... If you come Except back to Philadelphia, Rosa. there will be carrot cake. Guaranteed. <clears throat> My favorite. I'm a fan also. Uh, lastly, this is my favorite, uh, not exactly music question, but uh, that I think is kind of insightful. Um, in your formative music years, when you really first started sponging music in as a, as a fan and maybe started to tinker a little bit, what posters were hanging on your bedroom wall or your first apartment wall? Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Joey? Um, I had... Pete Townsend, Les, he was playing Les Paul live, it had a number two on it. Pete Townsend, Les Paul, that had a number two on it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. 
<laughs> you ask me a question. No, I know. <laughs> well, we've gotten Britney Spears sometimes. I mean, <laughs> that'd be some time travel there, but I've gotten that answer also. And the Here's... white album, you know, with their portraits of each Beatle that came up on that wall. The Beatles is this theme that is running through our conversation mm -hmm. today. Is this how it always is with the Pixies? Yeah, they're awesome. Anybody else? No? I had a big poster of Salvador Dali and his face and a big whisker staring at me every night before I went to bed. <laughs> That's why you're so creative. <laughs> we may have briefly had a Farrah Fawcett up uh, <laughs> my brother and I, but I, I don't... I had a hang in there baby with a cat. <laughs> <laughs> See, very insightful. 